Causes and blessings does not come to people because they are good or bad. And that is why you see some people who look bad and yet is blessed. Some people look very, very good and yet they are cursed. It is not behavior or being good or being bad that attract the causes and the blessings. Although it is good to be good because many good people attract a blessing to their lives, but that is not the primary basis of the blessing. It is not the primary basis of the causes. I have tried to explain to you some of the things that brings causes to people. Try and listen to those messages again. They will help you. Good morning. You are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenoga. As usual, the King of Heaven, the God of the universe, the God that is above all gods. He is greater than the greatest. He is the Almighty. He put a word in my mouth this morning to speak to you, to encourage you, to motivate you, to inspire you, and to bless you. As you listen to this word this morning, the Lord God Almighty who sent you to this world at this time, we open you up to a new opportunity of blessing. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. You see, blessings are as real as causes. When you see a blessed man or woman, it is easy to notice. Life looks easy. Whatever he or she touches become blessed. Whatever he or she touches become, you know, successful. Because there is a blessing of God upon his or her life. But a cursed man is not the same. When things are going good, when a cursed man gets there, the things get bad. Because curses are effectuous. Now, today, I want us to look at some things to, for us to understand better how to be blessed of God. When you look at Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1, it is very clearly stated. He said, it shall come to pass. <laughs> that is powerful. That means nothing can change these things that I'm about to say. It shall come to pass if you will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord your God, which I command you today. That all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. It is automatic. Automatically, when you hearken to the voice of the Lord your God, you will be blessed. You will be embarrassed with stupendous blessings. That is the word of God. And when you look, you know, you read that to verse 14, you will see the blessing that will come on those who diligently obey the voice of God. But you see, when you look again in Malachi chapter 3, he said, you have robbed me from verse 8. And they said, wherein have we robbed you? He said, because you don't pay your tithes and because you don't offer to me, I consider it as a robbery. That's what God is saying. And in verse 9 of that Malachi chapter 3, he said, therefore, you are caused with a cause. You see? Because you rob me, you are caused with a cause. That one is very clear. A good person may rob God by not paying tithes and giving offering. When you are good, but you don't pay your tithes, you rob him. He said you are caused with a cost. It has nothing to do with being well behaved. And when you go back to that Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 15. He said, it shall come to pass if you will not hearken to the voice of the Lord your God that all these causes shall come upon you and overtake you. You can see. You see, the reason why people are cursed or blessed has to do with observing the word of the Lord. And that's what James chapter 1 from verse 20 was saying. He said, you should, not be doer, you should not be hearers of the word only, but you should be doers of the word. If anyone is a doer, is a hearer and not a doer, he shall be like a man that look his natural face in the mirror. When he left the mirror, he forgot what manner of man he is. 
You have to be a doer of the word. We are commanded to be a doer of the word for the blessings of God to come to our lives. It's as easy to receive the blessings as it is to receive the curse. The same thing that brings a curse is the same thing that brings a blessing. Hacking diligently to the voice of the Lord brings a blessing. Not hacking diligently to the voice of the Lord brings a curse. And I've told you, the Bible said in Mark chapter 16 from verse 15, it said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believe and is baptized shall be saved. And he that believe not shall be condemned. That is a curse. Anyone that does not believe the gospel, anyone that does not embrace the gospel will be cursed. That is it. You see, this is why I'm sending this message to you every day. We are not dead yet. We are still in this world. We need to learn what to do to prosper. We need to learn the word of God that will teach us how to walk in the blessings of the Lord. Learning how to walk in God's blessings is not a sin. Being rich is not a sin. In fact, the more the money you have, the better the life you live. So if you are a young person listening to the sound of my voice, I want to advise you, rapture will take place very soon, but we don't know when. So learn everything you can learn on how to receive the blessings of God. Because your future depends on the kind of blessing you are able to attract to your life. In as much as our Lord is tiring, is coming, we must teach our children how to prosper in the way of the Lord. See, everything is not money. Many people have gone after money and they have brought a curse upon their lives. There are many rich people who are cursed. We must teach our children that everything is not money. The blessings of the Lord, the Bible says, make it rich and he add no sorrow. Are you acting diligently to the voice of the Lord your God? If you're a husband, you are commanded to love your wife. And if you don't love your wife, you are not hacking diligently to the voice of the Lord your God. If you're a wife, you are commanded to submit to your own husband. If you don't submit to your own husband, you are not hacking diligently to the voice of the Lord your God. You are called to be a helpmeet for him. You are not called to be his supervisor. You are called to submit to your husband. It's one of the things God said in the Garden of Eden. He said to the woman, your desire shall be to your husband. You see? Let's hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord our God so that the blessings of God may flow in our direction without stopping. And this is where I'm going to stop today. Thank you so much for listening to this. God bless you. Please rebroadcast this and God will bless you for doing that. So it is well with your soul. This is your brother, your, your friend, and your pastor, Joseph Adenoga, signing out this morning and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.